Hey guys, let's face it, we all love big tired lifted off-road trucks. And what's better than outfitting them with the latest in overland technology. But Andre, there is a price to all that. And I'm not talking about all these toys. <laughs> well, there's also daily drivability and fuel efficiency cost. Yeah, so how much more in fuel do you have to pay when you lift your truck and make it off-road worthy and overlanding worthy as opposed to a standard truck. So what are we gonna do today? Well, we have a cool opportunity here because we have two GM midsize trucks with identical engines, but they're built very differently. So how about we run Denver 100 loop, our standard efficiency test and figure out how much efficiency you might be losing. Yeah, or in other words, how much more money you're gonna pay when you build out something as cool as this versus keeping it stock. As always, we're gonna use our two-click method. So we're gonna fill up here at this uh, local Sinclair, then we're gonna drive 100 miles, come back here and find out what both this truck says and what the pump says. Andre, what, uh, what requirement does this have for fuel? Well, th these are high output engines. Yep. So in my truck, I've been riding running 91 octane. Okay. And so I think we should do that for this test as well. Okay. They're, they can run on 87 every day, all day, but I think um, let's just run the same fuel in both. You like the good stuff, huh? Yes. All right, we'll put the good stuff in. Oh my God, Andre, we're paying $4.49 a gallon? Yes. When did that happen? I don't know when that happened, but um, these trucks are not cheap either. <laughs> this thing better... All right, well, let's make some bets. All right. You know what your, yours gets fuel economy-wise, right? Yeah. So give me a number. What's well, your... on this test, uh, my truck surprised, um, what, a few months ago with like almost 26 MPG at the highway. All right, so here's the here's question. Yes. Will this get 10 worse? 10 MPG worse. So this would have to get 16 or higher. Uh, yes, All it right. could do 16 or higher. I'm gonna say no. Okay. So that's our, that's our bet. What are we okay. betting for? A uh, lunch. All right, lunch it is. Okay. So when we come back, Roman, yeah, we have to. I have to use this pump, and you have to use the same pump. Yeah, we'll do that. So both trucks are in the same. Yeah, of course. On the same level. Done, dude. Done, done, done. Okay. That's it. Let's All go. Right. All right, well, let's uh, hit the highway. And is this exactly 100 miles? It's 111 miles, but the 100 just sounds better. It does sound better, yeah. Denver 100. All right, let's go roll. Yes. This is my personal truck. It's a 2023 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. It's all stock, but I added mud flaps. And Andre, this is my personal truck. I <laughs> wish. No, it's not. <laughs> this is a GMC that's been built out for the Overland Expo that they lent us yes. to show off not just the things that are on it, but to actually show off the fact that the Overland Expo is coming here to Colorado next week. But first, tell me, what do they do to this? Yeah, so this is a collaboration between GMC, Overland Expo Foundation, um, and also all the part makers and manufacturers that combine into this. So this is a brand new 2024 GMC Canyon 84X, which already starts as a very capable platform, right? I notice a lift. Uh, yes, but the guys at Overland Expo and the foundation and peak suspension have really beefed it up. So they gave it a small lift, then they put a 35 inch tall tire under this, um, so now it's almost becoming an AV edition, right? Yeah, because it's got an AV snorkel over there. Yeah, that's really cool. Let me uh, pop the hood and show you. Both of these trucks have the 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbo high output engines, 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. But look at this integration, dude. So this is an AV part 
that's sold not only by AEV, but also through your GMC dealer. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then uh, from a fuel economy point of view, both have the same transmission. Yes. Both have the same oil. And the same rear axle. Yada, yada, basically, yada. Basically, yeah, but of course there are differences in tires and suspension. My truck's is 82 degrees, which is pretty perfect. Uh, no traffic, which is also great. And, uh, well, here, I'm gonna floor it a little bit so the people on camera can hear the exhaust. A little droney. Yeah, a little droney. But dude, are you, are you comfy? Is there a lot of wind noise? Or are you, how are you doing uh, driving there? I'm comfy and hungry. I'm pretty confident that you're going to be paying for lunch, dude, so uh, it's good. You know, these big tires are kind of squishy. Uh, it does hunt for gears a little bit more, maybe because of the 35s. Uh, but, you know, I've got such nice amenities like chilled seats uh, and a heads-up display, which is uh, very nice. Well, I have none of that. I don't have heated seats or chilled seats. I don't have cruise control. I have no heads-up display. But I'm uh, still uh, happy as a clam. Yeah, these are both great trucks. I, I always uh, appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, GM did a really good job on uh, their Colorado Canyon twins. And you said it, dude. I didn't want to rub it in with the cruise control. So thank you for, uh, you know, bringing that up. Andre, I think this truck has something hiding in the exhaust. Let me start it up and you tell them what it is. This is a Magna exhaust system here. Um, and it sounds a little bit more beefy, a little bit more deep. And actually, I kind of want to put this on my truck, but let me show you, you have to climb underneath. Here's the new muffler and it's actually dumping really up high behind the rear tire dude i want to put this exhaust on my truck and look it's tucked way underneath so it doesn't uh protrude down below the bumper so it's out of the way and it sounds beefy you know what i don't care about the exhaust what i want on my truck is i want a home on my truck because look we've got an alu cab rooftop tent but yeah. how cool is this we have a shower dude we have a shower all right so you can open this up and you can uh wash off is there power on board uh, yes, so this we have a lightning rack with boxes, battle-borne batteries, and look, this whole red arc system is tied in together with peak uh, made in the USA. Let's open this up. Yeah, let's see what's back here. I'm curious. I already see the deck system back here. Let me pull this pin. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. So they put the 35 on the swing um, swing away because otherwise, if it wasn't here, hold on. If it wasn't here. It could have been in the bed, but we want bed space. And then, of course, look at this. We have a full Whew. decked, compartmentized storage system. So if you want to have... Here's your shower. Your shower. <laughs> I take it that probably is a little stove. camp kitchen. Yeah. Yes. So they have everything. Maybe the kitchen sink is, is somewhere in here, too. Yeah, well, it could be in here. Look, there's more stuff in here, Andre. Yeah. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh, my God. More storage space. And I take it this is uh, for water and not for gasoline? No, um, or even air. So you can kind of use... Oh, it's an air tank. Use this for multiple purposes, I believe. All right. Um, we still have DSSV shocks. All the skid plates from AEV. And then, so it's really protected. And look at those rock rails. Rock rails. Rear uh, springs have been beefed up for extra weight because you are adding a lot of weight to this puppy. Yeah, and of course the TFL, we're known for being highly scientific. Uh, and so to make up for the added weight, we've actually added weight uh, to Andre's truck. Actually, yes. he added weight to the truck before this video. Show him what we did, Andre, to add weight. Um, so Roman, hold on a second. Let me pop this really quick. There we go. I added two more transmissions <laughs> from General Motors. 
to my truck. Yes. So. In perfect uh, search in the perfect search for transmissions. Yeah, we have we have two which I think are these going into your buhanka? Is that why these are? Uh, they're out of my buhanka. So I am LS swapping V8 swapping my Russian van 4x4 van. This is a TH353 speed and that's a um, 4L60E4 speed and um, I don't want these anymore. I'm, I'm selling these, so but if it's you, extra weight. If you want to buy one, <laughs> info at TFL Truck. But we're doing this because of the weight, right? We're trying to make this apples No, apples it's because, because you're selling I haven't machine. sold them yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, that is really the biggest uh, difference between the two trucks, and that is that this one has three transmissions, <laughs> and that only has one. Andre, and what off-road truck would be complete without off-road running lights and, of course, a big old winch? Yeah, and the special, this uh, bumper insert, uh, which is amazing. Uh, I love this truck, dude. It is so badass. This is crazy. Can we buy this? Uh, yes, you actually can. You can so buy it. Anybody can buy it because it's going to be auctioned off at the end of the year. And all proceeds from the sale of this truck go to Overland Expo Foundation. You can check them out. They do a lot of great work. It's mostly a volunteer organization, but they uh, make sure that the trails that we have here um, in our country, stay open and stay clean. So my truck is saying 23 MPG exactly on this trip. Um, and it says about 110 miles, but GPS based it's 111 miles, so I'll be using 111 as our number. Alrighty. Let's see what it does. It could be a little bit better than 23. We'll have to wait and see. Alrighty, so we're almost there. I'm gonna just tip off after about 30 seconds. Okay, that's it. Let's calculate. 4.659. 111 miles. Divide by 4.659. Equals 23.8. So yeah, it's a little bit better than the truck said. And I'm pretty happy with this on this hot, hotter day than last time with air conditioning running the entire time. I wanna see what Roman did. All right, Andre, I'm not going to tell you what the truck says. Okay. I will surprise Please you and the audience when we actually... Uh... Well, I have a nozzle for you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Did you pick 91? You did. Yeah. All right, here we go. Premium fuel! Yeah, no sticks and no stones. Yeah. Are you going to do the math, Andre? Because I'm really bad at math. Uh, I got my calculator okay. handy. Tick, tock, tock, tick. There we go. We'll give it the old 30-second uh, wait, and then we'll find out what the pump says and see if it matches what the truck says. Okay, there you go. 59 is how much we paid. 6.578 gallons, dude. All right, so I'm gonna tell you right now, you did not beat me because I can see the gallons. 111 miles divided by 6.578. Drum roll, 16.9. Oh, that's better than we thought. Well, you thought. It is better than I thought. You owe me lunch, my friend. Well, we already ate and I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> but the car said, I think it said like 15.8. So it was off by one mile. So it's better than what the yeah, truck yeah. is saying. Yeah. Okay. So what was yours? I, let me show you. Yeah. 23.8. So on this trip, you paid basically $9 more than I did. Yeah. So uh, you extrapolate it, it that will add up over another thousand miles. Yes, you're basically ninety bucks more. Yes, is that worth all this? Probably. <laughs> well, it depends on your lifestyle. If you want to work from anywhere, I mean, you can put a Starlink up there. I, I guess. And if you, I guess if you leave this on, you know, while you're not overlanding or off-roading, then you know you're probably going to end up paying more at the pump. Yes, or, or you could live out of this. And, so, and rent your house out to somebody else. If you can afford this, you're not living out of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, we know that the difference is pretty staggering, actually. It is, uh, but I'm impressed because we were both, I think, afraid 
that you'll be below 16. And I wasn't. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Another TFL Denver 100. And Andre, where should they go if they want to watch more videos? OldTFL.com and also swag at TFLstuff.com. See you next time. Ciao.